Okay, what's happened? Yes, my husband's just collapsed off the chair in the kitchen. In the kitchen. All right, are you with him now? Yes. Right, so I'm just going to run through some quick questions, Janice, while we're organising some help, okay? So, yes, is, well, he, is he awake? No, he's not. All I, right. think, I, think, I think he might have gone. All I think right. he might Janice, have gone. Is Please he, come. Janice, is he breathing? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm organising help for you now, so stay on the line, I'll tell you exactly what to do next. So it's two grandkids are here too. Okay, so look, how old are the grandkids? Only seven and eight. Seven and eight year old, okay, look, I just, it's important, what we need to do is we need to lay him flat on his back, all right, Maybe. and remove any pillows, okay? Yes. Okay, so I what think we'll, he's, got, he's gone, he's gone. All right, we want to commence CPR, okay? Are you prepared to do that? Yeah. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to place the heel of your hand on the breastbone, right in the centre yeah. of the chest and right between the nipples. And I want you to yeah. put the other hand on top of that hand, okay? Yeah. Now, what we need to do is we need to pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second. So I'm going to count out loud with you and you can time with me, okay? This is going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You want to put the, you got the little girl there with you? Yes. Do you want to put her on the phone to me and I'll just get you to keep pumping the chest like that, okay? Katie, Katie, come here, darling. You all right? You talk to the man. Hello, is this Katie? Yes. Katie, this is the ambulance, okay? We've got some help organised, okay? So they're coming now. Yeah. All right, so what I need you to do is I need you to be nice and brave for you now, okay? Nanny, you've just got to keep on doing what you're doing, okay? Yeah. They're here. The ambulance is there? Yeah. All right, you tell Nan to keep going and not stop what she's doing. Oh, it's compelling to listen to, isn't it? We are pleased to say that the man that you just heard on that call, New South Wales Ambulance call taker, Tiago D. Almeida, joins us now. Tiago, good morning to you. Morning. Firstly, um, an update on Ken's situation. How's he faring? So Ken's in recovery now. So he's back home with his family and uh, from it he's doing well. Let's, um, let's talk about that particular incident. You are absolutely the voice of calm and compose and obviously that's what you trained for, but I imagine that was a particularly tense situation um, given that Ken's wife, understandably, was, was very panicked by what she was confronted with. Well, that's right. Look, we, we get these calls quite often and, and we're trained very well to, to deal with these situations. So the most important thing is to try and keep, to keep the situation calm. Um, obviously, you know, having the little ones there um, made it a little, bit, a little bit harder, but they were all so calm during the call. It was just an amazing outcome. Well, eight-year-old Katie ended up being the, the, the conduit of information, didn't she? You, you, you were speaking to her mm, and she was right. instructing her grandmother. She was quite remarkable. It's amazing, amazing. When you get children on the phone, it's amazing how um, how receptive they are to the instructions, and uh, she really helped the situation so much. You know, she helped helped keep um, her nan nice and calm, and said, you know, got the door open for the crew, and she was there with her brother at the same time. So it's just an amazing job that they both did, or that all three of them did. Yeah, because the, the the brother I think ran down the road to try and get a neighbour to to come and help. Um, but obviously you were, you were there and central in, in talking it, it, it through and keeping them calm and ultimately saving Ken's life. Um, that's got to sit well with you. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it really um, it does. It makes you feel really good at the end of the day to get home and think that you, you've made a difference like that. But as I said, the, um, the three of them done an amazing job. It was just, um, you know, it's, it does it. It kind of makes it all worthwhile. And I guess just quickly, it's never too, the, never too early to teach children CPR and what they should do in the event of an emergency. No, exactly right. It's, I think it's really important to know and uh, even just knowing the basic instructions, you know, um, something as small as knowing, knowing their address and, and knowing where to call if there's an emergency. You know, the important part is, is getting a quick response. So, and this is exactly what's happened in this situation. Uh, everyone stayed nice and calm. They got to us quickly. Uh, we got the ambulance out there as quickly as possible and, and the kids knew what to do. So it made a big difference. Well, Tiago, we salute you and all the other call takers right around the country. You do phenomenal work. And of course, our, our best wishes to Ken, who, as we understand, is recovering well, and to Janice and her grandchildren. Tiago, thank you very much for your time this morning and well done.